Who could forget this? Last month, we showed you the living conditions inside a Detroit couple's apartment. The place was infested with rats, roaches, and bed bugs. Ooh. Oh, well, tonight our Ronnie Dahl is back on the story, and she joins us live from downtown Detroit with what happened after the report, Ronnie. Well, the couple is no longer living in that apartment. In fact, they are now staying in downtown Detroit. However, you're not going to find them in one of the city's pricey apartments. They're living on the streets. Monica and Angelo can see Detroit's come back. New shops, new restaurants, all shiny and bright, just like the holiday lights. But to them, it's a world away. You have to make yourself invisible when you're homeless. How many days have you been on the streets? since the 22nd of October. That's when the couple was evicted from their tiny apartment in the Kim Russ apartment building, an apartment infested with bugs, roaches crawling on the walls, the ceiling, and even in the refrigerator. They had stopped paying rent, they say, to try and get the owner to take care of the crawly critters, a problem the owner told us at the time he didn't think was that bad. You think those are acceptable living conditions? Actually, I believe so, yeah. Once evicted and with no place else to go, Angelo and Monica ended up in Hart Plaza. Everything they own in a couple of containers and on their backs. How long do you think you can last? I don't think I'm going to last longer than her. I'm, I'm 59 years old. I'm, I'm blind. I have, I have medical problems. Monica is more optimistic. Might have been a blessing in disguise. I ain't mad. Like I told the bailiff, you did us a favor. Ain't got no bed bugs. Ain't got no roaches, ain't got no mice, ain't got no rats. Instead of focusing on what she doesn't have, Monica says she's grateful for what she does have. I got chips, and I got water, and I got two bags of dog food. What do I got to be upset about? Yeah, she has a pretty good attitude about all of this. Now, of course, we do want to remind you that the eviction was legal. If you have a problem with your landlord, you can't just stop paying rent. You have to go through the court system, do it the right way. As for what's going to happen now, yes, they could go to a shelter. It's available to them, but we know a lot of people don't want to do that. And for various reasons, they don't want to, including one of the main reasons, they don't want to get rid of their dogs to Monica. They are her four-legged babies, and I can understand that. So for right now, Angelo's out here panhandling, just trying to get enough money so maybe they can get into a new apartment, one that is bug-free. For now, we're live in downtown Detroit. Back to you. It'd be nice to see them get a place to stay, Ronnie. And some jobs, if, if at all possible, so they can pay for that new apartment. Yeah, yeah. Well, the effort can